Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Victory. My name is Zuri Cho and I'm going to be your host this morning. I want to go ahead and welcome all of our media outlets, DirecTV, Dish, Roku, Apple TV, Facebook, and even YouTube. We want to welcome you guys to go ahead and share on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Joining me this morning, it is not just myself with all of our prayer ministers. I am joined by Larry. Larry, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing fabulous. It is so wonderful to be with you today. Dial that number 877-281. 6297 and let us touch the, together with you today and bring your your faith and your power and, and the power that God has for you into your life today. That is right. Bringing in that power of God into your life this morning. Joining us today in the aisle with the spirit of faith, connecting all those faith lines and Sergio. Sergio, what are you doing over there this morning? Well, listen, Suri and Larry, I'm having a great time out here in the middle of all these prayer ministers. Make sure you connect with us, 877-281-6297. And the Lord gave me this for somebody out there or for all the people that are watching us. Psalms 34, 8, 8 says, taste and see that the Lord is good. So we believe you will taste and you will see his goodness today because he is a good God. Make sure you call 877-281-6297. Our licensed prayer ministers are ready to take your call. Back to Surrey. Thank you, Sergio. You know, that actually meditates perfectly with what I had in my heart this morning. I want to go to the scripture in Hebrews 4, 16, and this is the New King James Version. It says, let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in every time of need. This morning, as you're calling in that prayer line, we encourage you to pray with us. We encourage you to call in with your testimony. That's what we love to call it, prayer requests becoming your walking testimonies. And I want to go ahead and get started here with a few with the testimony that came in earlier today and just remind you how God works quickly, how God works suddenly in every single one of our lives. I have Linda from Texas. Her testimony is that she received her stimulus check right after she had called in for prayer. That is how quickly God works. You present your need, you present everything that you need this morning and God will work quickly and suddenly in your life. I have Vivian from Minnesota. She is praying over her finances and for her, her money to come through. Bill Vivian, we just read a testimony and God is no respecter of persons. Whatever he does for one person, he can also do for you. So we encourage you to stand on the word of God, stand on it in faith and just believe and receive your financial miracle this morning. Larry, you have any prayer requests right now? Are they coming in? Amen. We, we're hearing from Paul. Paul, thank you for calling in from San Jose. We have Deborah calling in from Phi. Gloria calling from Orangeburg. Albert calling from Chuckney. They're all calling in for healing today and healing belongs to the saints. God has from the beginning chosen us to salvation through sanctification of his Holy Spirit and believe in the truth of his word. And Father, I pray over your people today and I pray this salvation be made manifest over their bodies. I thank you that they're receiving life and life more abundantly and this too shall come to pass for them today that they will receive that healing and that salvation in Jesus' name. Jerry. Amen. Amen. That is true that they receive it this morning. I have Kathy from Michigan. Uh, she is praying over her home right now that the, they do not lose any power during the winter storm and for safe travels for everyone driving to where they have to go. Well, we thank you, Lord, right now that your word said that you will calm the storm, that just as we need it, Father God, you are also working in peace and abundance. So we thank you, Lord, over Kathy and the protection coming into her home. I have Sherry in um, California. She's wanting deliverance for her son. We thank you, Father God, that is because of your liberty that we have been set free and that deliverance comes to him and no no um, hold or detain on his life will be able to have power in Jesus' name. I have Rebecca from Canada. She's wanting a miraculous healing over her finances. Will we call those finances into yes. action? We yes. place that demand on the yes. authority of God that we are opening up those gates of heaven right now and yes. it's releasing that financial prosperity over yes. your life. I have Lisa from Ocala. Uh, she is praying for... Um, for herself, 
for her, a broken pipe in her home, in her apartment, and she's needing to go to work. Well, we thank you, God, that you are sending the people right thank now, you, the people thank to you, help Lord. her and assist her in her home, that they're able to help her, so she's able to get thank to work you, this Lord. morning. I have Shirley in Severville. Uh, her brother needs healing from um, the COVID virus, full recovery from his lungs. We thank you, God, that your word says that in, in Galatians 3, 13, you, that we have been redeemed you, from Lord. the curse. We are walking in thank faith. You, we are Lord. walking in healing, and thank we receive you, it over their lives because COVID you, has Lord. no power over their life, and COVID thank has no authority in the name of Jesus. Mm. I want to go over to Sergio in the aisle. Sergio, how many prayer requests are coming in this morning? Well, I'm telling you, Suri, they're just coming in right now. You need to call 877-281-6297 because the power of God is moving. We got Jean from Huddleston healing for her pastor's wife, Janelle, who has stage four cancer. Father, we lift her up to you, Father, and we curse that cancer from the root, Father. Father, you, the book of Isaiah says that you, by your stripes, we have been healed, so we speak that over her right now. We got Benny from Coyote for a better job. We speak that over you right now. Pamela from Ohio, pray for her friends, Dan, who's in the hospital, and doctor needs wisdom to know how to treat. Father, we just speak your wisdom into the lives of those nurses and those doctors who are surrounding her right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we got Sue from Canada. Thank you so much, Sue, for calling us. Family member, health, self, ear heal. Her ear needs to be healed. Father, we speak your healing power into that situation. And we got Valerie from St. Louis, health and dead cancellation. We speak that over her right now in the name of Jesus. Listen, if you can't get through because the lines are real busy right now, make sure you be persistent and you keep calling 877-281-6297. Our licensed prayer ministers are ready to take your call. Back to you, Larry. Listen, the scripture that I gave you earlier is a scripture that you should lay hold of. God has from the beginning chose you and I to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and believe in the truth of his word. So I declared that healing over you, Stephanie, today from Tucker. I declared that surely from Providence, you're praying for a new heart. God is right there on the spot for you. Mary from Douglasville, healing for her eyes. I thank you now, even now, Father, that you're moving over her, manifesting your glory in her life. Dolly from Broken Bow, deliverance and protection for her son. You have the deliverance promise from God himself. He's done that, he's chosen to do that from the beginning and that deliverance is available to you. And Gloria from Dallas, praying over her son who's been in an accident. We pray now for the healing power of God to rise up within him and on his body. And we, we thank you, Father, that he is delivered from the crowns of his head to the soles of his feet. Miss Zuri. Amen, amen, that's right. From the top of their head to the soles of their feet, we're declaring that manifested power over your life and walking in the continuous blessing. We're telling you this morning, it's not just about prayer requests, it is also about testimonies. Yes. Go ahead and call with those testimonies. You don't know how many lives or encouragement to others you will bring. I have Geneva from Oklahoma. She called in for prayer regarding her heart, of her needing healing. Her praise report is that the, God, uh, that the doctors gave her a good report. She is healthy and no signs of heart issues. Praise the Lord. We thank you for her life and that continuous blessing and that continuous healing over her life. I have Kara from Pennsylvania. Uh, she's wanting favor with the IRS for her money to come through and for God to protect her finances. Well, let me tell you, we serve a God who protects yes. and delivers us in every situation. Yes. Right now, wherever you're going, you know that God is opening those doors. The word of God says, knock and the door shall yes. be open. Seek and you you will find. So this morning we are calling in that blessing and calling in that favor that God has yes. over your life. I have Vicki from Goldsboro. Uh, she's praying for herself to be made whole and for completion in her life. We thank, thank you that she has Lord. nothing missing, nothing broken. You. That you are Jehovah Nisi, our Prince of Peace. And that wherever she is right now, you are guiding her and surrounding her with your grace and mercy and, feel, and letting her feel your love this morning. I have Noreen from La Folleta. Uh, she's wanting healing for her nephew. I have Jennifer from Clinton. She's wanting healing for her whole family and salvation. And I have Janice um, from Pennsylvania wanting healing for multiple sclerosis. Our God is a God yes, he is. who knows no limits. Yes. This morning as we call for grace and healing, we know that God is working according to his will to yes. perfect that, to be able to heal us, to be able to provide for every single need that we yes. have. He bore it all on the cross. So this morning when you're calling in, let me encourage you to stand on the word of God and stand in scripture for your, uh, for your miracle this morning. Thank I you. 
to remind you guys, if you can't get through, call us back. We do want to hear from you. We want to connect with you. That number is 877-281-6297. Larry, do you have any more? Yes, we do. We have a testimony from Evelyn from Ocala. She says she spoke to prayer minister two weeks ago and received healing for her skin condition. She is healed and made whole. Amen. And she also wants to continue to pray for her eyes. So I'm praying now, Evelyn, staying in agreement with me. I'm praying now that God, who loves you, who's chosen salvation for you, manifest his, his life in you and in your eyes right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sandra from Georgia, she's, she's asking us to agree with her for family salvation. We do agree with that. Kate from Oklahoma, healing in her feet and salvation is manifested in this place today. And it's available for everyone who believes, everyone who receives. We are declaring that over you today. We have Jesse from Tempa, favor for himself and for his friends. We, we pray and agree with that. Pamela from, Miss, from Memphis, financial increase and from COVID healing, we declare that healing over you today. Jesus is Lord over your body. Jesus is Lord over your circumstances and salvation has manifested itself in your life today. Zuri? Amen, amen. That is, that is totally, completely correct and aligned with the word of God. Before going to Sergio on the aisle, I want us to go ahead and visit this clip with Pastor Terry. It talks about how when we pray according to the word of God, his will, he starts to hear us, he starts to respond because God is a God who answers. He doesn't just speak to us, but he also responds and answers to us every single day. So go ahead and watch this clip about Pastor Terry. First John tells us that it's the prayers we pray in line with his will that he hears. And when he hears them, then he responds to them. He wants to answer. He wants to move on our behalf. He wants to reach out towards us. And all we have to do is go to his word and find out his will. But he said, this kind of praying is it's significant to our lives. It's significant to the world around us. It's important to God. Why? Because he wishes all men to be saved and to perceive, recognize, to know the truth, to rightly and correctly divine the divine truth. Amen. Amen. His will for our lives, walking in that divine truth. I'm so glad we just heard that clip because I have here a prayer request from Columbus, Ohio. Thank you, Columbus, for calling. It is Marjorie. She is praying and believing for our nation and our church to rise up for it to be able to connect back with the Lord. Well, this is the year of the local church. Brother yes. Copeland has already said it. It is the year yes. of divine health, divine restoration and healing. So we're standing this morning for all of our local churches, for that uh, will of God to be manifested, for his mercy, yes. for his deliverance, for his yes. understanding and wisdom to be made through yes. and to be connected with him every single day. I have here Sue from Sun City. She's wanting um, discipline for herself for eating. This reminds me of a scripture in the word of God and Ecclesiastes specifically it talks about how there's a time for everything. There is a time to eat, there's a time to rest, there is a time to meditate in the word of God. So this morning I encourage you yeah. to go to the word of God and see and reap all the benefits that it has for you. I have Jeffrey from Trenton. He's praying over his finances this morning. I have Gladys from St. George wanting that financial financial increase to come into her home. We thank you, Lord, the word of God says in Deuteronomy 28, 8, we are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the field. We are blessed coming in and we are blessed going out. So right now, those increase in finances come into their home. Those increase in their financial blessings are entering. And Father God, we thank you because that is already working in their favor. And then lastly here, before I go to Sergio, I have Ruth from Tennessee. She received a good report from her doctor. So this yes. is a praise report. We yes. thank you, Ruth, for calling. And yes. we're standing in agreement that your healing yes. continues to come in and that yes. that good report is one that continues for a long time. Yes. All right, Sergio, back to you in the aisle. Talk to me about that anointing. Awesome. We can't wait. Well, I'm telling you, I'm right in the middle, like I said before, and I'm hearing all these pray, prayer warriors just praying. And listen, if you have a family member, if you, if you have a, a friend, who's going through some challenges. This is a resource. Our prayer ministers, our licensed prayer ministers are a resource from God through Kenneth Copeland Ministries and EMIC for you. Have them call us. We'll pray the prayer of faith and you will see victory in your life. You can watch us on, on, on the Victory broadcast. You can go on, on Facebook, on YouTube and all, that, all those media platforms. But listen, this is a God thing. God has this resource for you. So make sure you call 877-281-6297. Like Carl from Newark, he needs healing for a lower back pain. We speak that over you right now. We got Judy. 
from Wayne, Wisdom and Direction. We speak the wisdom of God into your life right now. Alexandra from Bellevue, New England. Thank you for calling us good thoughts. Well, God, you speak the word of God. You, you read your Bible and those thoughts will come into and it'll change your life. We got Lizzie from Carrollton. Thank you for calling us. She's going through some anxiety. Father, we just speak peace into Lizzie right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we got Dahlia from Corpus Christi. Thank you for calling us. Healing, strength, and protection for family. Father, we lift them up to you, Father. You know who they are. You know what they're needing, Father. And you are the God who heals, Father, and deliver us from all things that are happening right now in this world. Call it 77-281-6297. We are here for you. Back to you, Zuri. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you. I'm having testimonies come in this morning. And I want to encourage you guys, this faith line, that's what we love to call it, faith line, is to connect with you yes. and share and just rejoice in all the yeah. great things that God is doing for you. I have Darlene from Missoula. Uh, she called in yesterday for prayer for her husband who went into surgery. He woke up this morning with no pain, no need for medicine. We thank, thank you, you like you're bringing his you, body Lord. to thank a full you, and speedy recovery. I have another testimony here before I go to you, Larry. I have thank Brenda you. from Suffolk. Um, she... She was having pain in her bladder and now she is doing so much better and the pain is residing. We thank you that you take away all pain, take away all suffering and you bring in only your perfect peace and healing over her whole body. Larry, what do you have to share? I have a boatload of prayers for healing today. Now I'm gonna read your name and once we go over your name, I want you to follow after me and pray this prayer. Belinda from Madisonville, thank you for calling. Marvin from Kings Hill, Janet from Long Beach, Mary from Augusta, Ernest from Rico, Mary from Chicago, Barbara from, from Front Royal, Ruth from Hayesville, Sherry from Boyertown, and Pamela from Carbona. Pray this prayer with me and follow after me as we go to the throne, as Zuri said earlier. Okay. Father, we thank you today that you chose us to salvation, that you chose us to be delivered, that you chose us to have our bodies quickened by the same power that raised our Lord Jesus from the dead. We receive this life in us. We receive this life coming on our physical bodies and we rebuke death. We rebuke the remnants of death. We rebuke the symptoms of death. And we declare that Jesus is Lord over our physical bodies. Amen, that is right. He is Lord of our physical bodies. As we enter, like you have just said, boldly into the throne and we are yes. walking in confidence, walking yes. already knowing that we have the authority and we already received that healing. The word of God says, fear not. That tells us yes. that we already have to rest assured that God yes. is already working to go ahead and help us in our healing, help us in our finances, yes. help us for anything that we have yes. to bring to him every single day. Yes. Here we have Nancy from San Antonio. She's wanting peace over her um, her granddaughter who's going back to school. Well, we thank you Lord for that perfect peace and because your word says that children are your heritage. So anywhere that her granddaughter goes, Father God, yes. you also follow. Anywhere yes. that any other student or child goes, Father God, you are yes. going and working to protect them and yes. sending your angels before them. I have Melvin from Green Green Gold. Uh, she's praying for her daughter-in-law to have yes. a quick recovery from surgery. I have a few here from healing that I also want to go ahead and get to. I have Joyce from Bagalusa wanting healing over her life. I have Lucille from Philadelphia wanting healing for her niece, for uh, the tumor in her liver, liver to be gone. We curse that liver right yes. now that you were made and yes. created in the image of God yes. and that it has no power and no authority over yes. your organs in your life. I have Marjorie from Winchester wanting healing from a spot in her lungs and Lenita wanting um, healing for her sister Patty who's in the hospital right now um, related to COVID. And I have Carrie from Canada praying for healing over her skin Thank growth. You, I want to go Thank to the scripture you. right now and just share with you something that God had in my heart. In Psalms 91, specifically verse 14, it says, because he loves me, yes. says the Lord, I will rescue him yes. and I will protect him and I will acknowledge him because he knows my name yes. and I will call upon him and deliver him. So yes. this morning we are calling in yes, and we are praying we are. to the Lord over yes, every single are. one of your lives that you have been healed and made whole, yes. that there is nothing over your body that the Lord can't change yes. and there is nothing that you cannot do or say at God will not yes. hear this morning. I want to encourage you guys. That number is 877-281-6297. Let us go to the word of God and just yes. pray continuously for you and yeah. rest in that scripture and knowing that God is a God working to perform every single day. I want to go ahead and share with you guys another clip that we have from Pastor Terry. It is how God desires us to have all the desires of our hearts. Thank you. Lord. And that he shows us ways to receive it. All we have to do is stand in it and believe in it over our lives this morning. Thank Thank Go you, ahead Lord. and watch the clip. We're here to 
to stand in the gap with desire. It's more like we're taking hold of something, like you've got a rope, like the, and the, um, the answer's on one end of that rope and we've got the other and we're pulling it out and we're pulling it out and we're pulling it out. God is freely giving on his end, but you know, there's a lot of stuff in between. So with our hearts lifted up, with boldness, with confidence, by faith, we will take and believe we receive everything we ask for because he will reveal it in our heart. It's what he wants us to have that matters. So he's even putting the desires in our heart, what to ask for. For what what Pastor Terry just said, that we are pulling it out. And this is what all all these prayer ministers are doing right now. They're just pulling because the answer is right there. And this is the victory. Remember, this is the victory we have, even our faith. We got Marilyn from Canada. Thank you, Marilyn, for calling us. She wants uh, salvation for a friend. Eleanor from Beaufort, favor for release of our stimulus check. We got Marty from Wimberley, Texas, a financial miracle. Linda from Spring, Texas, Mother Health, Strength, Finances, Death, Freedom. Carol from Louisville, Needs Restoration and Direction. Direction. We got Ethel Lynn from Vacaville, California, favor for the finances to be released from selling of a home. And we, and we got Marilyn for Urbandale, Uv- Iowa, deliverance and salvation for her family. Father, we lift them up to you right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, we speak wisdom. We speak speak a financial miracle. We speak, Father, your salvation and your health into the lives of these people that we have just mentioned. Listen, God is no respecter of person. God loves you. God is on your side. Make sure you call 877-281-6297 and let us just pull that rope and just pull that rope and the answer is right near us. Back to you, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Sergio. We're so glad you shared that. That's right. The answer is right here. Yes. We've already yes. mentioned this. Whenever you speak to God, whenever yes. you bring him any concern, he doesn't just listen. He doesn't just speak, but he performs. Yes. And he is working according to the word of God to bring that to you this morning. All we have to do is activate our faith and stand in the word of God for what he has to say about us. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. That, amazing? that is so amazing. Listen, I'm so excited about what God is doing and he is moving throughout the land. Right. Call that number 877 877-281- 6297. We're praying for Chester from Sand Springs, Oklahoma, Betty from Georgia, Brenda from Eastman, Elaine from Deham, John from Troy, Gladys from Syracuse, Rachel from Belton, Gloria from Georgia, and Joanne from Roseville. Listen, salvation is the children's bread, and it covers every single need that you can possibly have. And God, through His Son, Jesus Christ, has made your salvation available to you today. So Father, I pray over all the requests that have come in, and I mentioned these names before the throne of heaven, so that you, by your power and by your spirit, could show mercy and goodness over their your people today because Jesus paid this price for their salvation and we lay hold of it today. We lay hold of every miracle working, powerful move of God that is in the land today to deliver your people. Zuri. Amen. Amen. That's right. To deliver his people. Yes. When God blesses the righteous, whenever we stand according to his will, there is yes. nothing he can do and nothing he can say that will not help us. I have yes. Rhonda from Spring Valley. Uh, she is praying for her family, salvation and favor. I have Terry from Texas wanting family union and restoration. Yes. We thank you that their salvation belongs to you, thank that you are you, touching God. their hearts, molding them, Father God, taking away any anger, anything that's causing thank that family to be uh, departed, Father. And we're bringing in mm. that peace and authority over their lives. Yes. I have Maxine from Chandler. She's wanting financial breakthrough and healing in her life. I have Lisa from Oak Park. She's wanting deliverance and healing. I have Steve from Albuquerque wanting healing for his wife. I have Karen from Oklahoma City wanting healing for her son, Alexander. Let me tell you something that, you know, this reminds me of something uh, Sister Gloria always says. God is present to heal. When he's talking about your healing, he is talking about your healing in finances, your healing in your family, healing over your lives, over your body. So this morning as we call in to the Lord and ask and put that demand on your prayer request, receive it over your life and receive that healing in Jesus' name. I also have Ethleen from 
from Terryville. Uh, she's praying for her friend who tested positive for COVID. Well, mm -hmm. right now we're saying we thank you, Lord, over her, uh, over her friend's yes. life because you are working to perform in her life. Thank you, you are Lord. changing that result. You are healing her and you're protecting her organs, her lungs, her breathing capabilities yes. this morning. I have Joyce from Connecticut wanting healing for her friend Danny. Um, who is currently receiving cancer treatment, we thank you, Lord, right now that your word said that we were made in your image. And in yes. your image, there is no cancer. In your yes. image, there is no fault in our bodies. In your image, Father God, thank you, you are providing us what we need thank to walk you, according Lord. to your purpose. I want to go ahead and actually invite Sergio to join us yes. up here um, so we can continue to read more testimony before going off air. I want to remind you what happens whenever you call in and you connect with one of our prayer ministers. When you call in, you pray with them, you speak the word of God, and we're connecting with you in scripture and yes. giving you something to stand on. Yes. But you're also pre being prayed over live here on the program, being prayed uh, continuously. And then that prayer request also yes. goes straight to one of our intercessors who yes. intercedes all day and continues to pray for God's will and power to be manifested in your life. I want to go ahead and read a few more uh, prayer requests here with Larry and Sergio. Larry, you have a few more? Yeah, we have Sherry from Oklahoma, Simon from Houston, Orville from Texas, Mary from Oklahoma, Charles from Sly Slidell, Joyce from Liberty, Francis from Missouri, Curry from Calvert, and Rosalind from Louisiana. We're believing God for your total salvation today. Jesus has paid the price so that you could be delivered from this present evil world. And that is according to the will of God. So we rejoice with you today as you receive your salvation. Amen. Amen. Hey, we just Amen. got a quick, testi yes. quick testimony here. Olga had called in. She had a back problem and she was instantly Amen. killed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's, how, that's how God works, instantly yes. and suddenly. I also yes. have a testimony here I want well, to share with you. I have Joanne from Haleyville. She called in for prayer for her husband and he came off dialysis because he has been healed. We encourage you this morning to use that prayer line Amen. to be your connection for your testimony as Amen. well. Sir, do you have a few more? Yeah, and even uh, after we're off the air, you can continue calling. Our Amen. licensed prayer ministers are here for you. Yes. So we got Paula from Texas, family restoration and healing. Marie from Candom, North Carolina for finances. Yes. Sandra from Sias Fall, wisdom and direction. Berta from Memphis, Tennessee, family salvation and healing. Yes. Joanne from Lake Forest, believing for deliverance from fear. Father, we just lift them all we up. We lift them all Father, up to you today. Father, we just speak we your speak power into that situation, Jesus. whatever yes. it is, Father. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Father, because you are a good God yes. and we have placed our faith in right. you. Placing our you. faith in you. I have Jill from Alpena. Uh, she's wanting healing for her family, a miraculous healing. Jenna from yes. Maryland, deliverance from anything that electronic trying to come against her. I have Barbara from Andawa, deliverance and peace. I have Darlene from Milwaukee wanting her friend to have healing where she Thank is in Lord. hospice. And I have OC from Texas wanting complete healing for herself and for her husband. We thank you that you are working right now according to your will to help and perform yes. and heal Lord in every yes. single way. Yes. We want to remind you guys, thank yes. you for watching this morning, but you can join us every single weekday for morning prayer at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Central. And you could also rewatch it or go find us at govictory.com slash morning prayer where we encourage you to continuously watch the program and stand in the spirit of faith. This morning as you are listening to us and you are praying, I want to remind you our licensed prayer ministers are here even when we go off the air. So we encourage you to continue to connect with that number and call 877-281-6297. We're going to go out in prayer and continue to pray for all the prayer thank requests you, that are coming we, in this thank morning. You, Father. We thank you, Father we God, for thank every you, life we right now. Everyone who is calling in thank prayer. You. We thank you that you are working, that you're great. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We thank you for your mercy, and remember, for your yes. healing, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Jesus is Lord. Lord.